Martin Campbell. We're good friends. We did Golden Eye together. And we've remained friends ever since. And he said, I've got this movie, Jackie Chan, The Foreigner. I read the script, loved the script, loved Jackie Chan. And that was it. It was as simple as that, really. Brilliant. I mean, we didn't really get a chance to have much of an interaction because his character is tracking me down throughout the film. It's a cat and mouse game. But I'd, I was a huge Jackie Chan fan and still am, even more so now, having worked with the man. Um, just one of these great characters, legends of the cinema. Uh, someone who has got, you know, fantastic comedic timing wonderful alacrity on his feet. And for him, I think this movie is a great departure and one that will surprise the audiences out there, who the fans who love him. So uh, yeah, we had a good time. He brings a humanity, an honesty. He brings himself. He brings all of Jackie's life force to it. Uh, it's a father who adores his daughter, a man who has given his life for the country that he belongs to, the country that he was torn from. He's an immigrant, he's a foreigner, he's a fish out of water trying to make a new life for himself. And then on one particular day, his life comes crashing in around him and is emotionally devastated and wants to find out who killed his daughter. Very simple. Well, Martin is a taskmaster. He is a man who comes to work fully prepared. He knows the script inside out. He knows every angle that he wants to shoot. So he's a grand master of uh, the thriller. And his preparation, as I say, is extensive and he rules the set with a delightful passion of cinematic, uh, what can I say? <laughs> he, he just knows his onions, Martin does. So, and you have to be on your game. You have to come fully prepared, but he's also a most gracious man and takes his time and will, take as much time in the day to get the
Mm. I think it was a joy to go to work every day. You know, when you're working with someone like Martin Campbell and a DP like David Tattersall, uh, who I've worked with so many times now, uh, and I was surrounded by really wonderful actors, or Irish actors, stage actors, great actors on film, and just had a good time making the movie. There wasn't a, you know, I mean, if, every day is a hard day because, but it's, if you love what you do, it's, you know, it's kind of easy breezy. You just know you're going to go into the trenches and the curtain goes up and you have to focus for 12, 14, 16 hours. And it's wonderful just building the movie piece by piece. And you go away and at the end of the day you think, wow, that was, that was good. It's that little moment there and a bit of embroidery here. Um, and so you're slow and, slow and steadily build a piece, build a movie. It's a joy to do. I play the first Irish minister, Liam Hennessy, who is a man with, with a very dark past. And, uh, he's someone who was born of war, really. He grew up in the Troubles in Ireland, and uh, he is very bright, very articulate, uh, and someone who is trying to hold on to his own position uh, in government and within his own people in the north of Ireland. And so into his office comes this man who he really doesn't have much time for or wants to have, doesn't want to have any time for. And slowly he begins to erode and invade my space. And I want to close him down. And of course, it opens a can of worms politically and emotionally for myself and all around me. And, um, so I find out who this fellow is, and I realize I've got a, I've got a, a lethal weapon, you know, on my hands. Someone who is really who, who knows how to kill and uh, is relentless in his pursuit of me. Because of my past uh, allegiance with certain forces, and because he was born in Northern Ireland, and he...